here to bring you another review and this time you know I, yeah, I'm sorry folks we used to saying anime review so when it's not an anime review or like a TV show or something like that uh, there's that pause in me because I almost want to say like uh, movie review or, or anime review or you know whatever review but this is this is just a regular review you know for a TV show so it's a little weird but anyway Alright, so it's Ash versus the Evil Dead. Uh, episode 5. Ugh. This one, not, not that up. Alright, episode 5, and this one's called... Sorry, I had to zoom in on it. Uh, the Host. Alright, now... This one is pretty good. This is a pretty good episode. We get some Destiny stuff going down. And basically, the premises is exactly where the last episode ended off. Ash is in some trouble because they think Ash is possessed by the demon. And we all know it's Kelly. So, Ash is like bound and gagged. And they're trying, uh, the uncle, the Brujo, is trying all he can to exercise the demon. Mm -hmm. Gotta exercise our demons. And uh, this doesn't go right because he's like, oh, this should elicit some sort of response out of you. And Ash is like, whoa, the girl, you know. And then, uh, and so, okay, now Pablo and Kelly are alone, and, and, and Kelly's trying to seduce Pablo, and, uh, you know, and into smoking some weed. So she comes up with this, like, plan where she's smoking weed out of uh, Ash's boomstick, you know, and try to get him involved, and it was hilarious, the awkwardness of it, you know, and by the way, by the way, let me say this, these, if I haven't said this in a, in a previous review, the soundtrack to Evil Dead is amazing, they, they get very good songs every episode, it's sort of like the theme one or two songs for the episode, and it is pretty cool. And the, the, the soundtrack, I hope, gets released somewhere. Maybe I'll pick it up. Who knows? But uh, it is a very good soundtrack. But uh, back to the story. So, you know, now Ash is in trouble. And uh, 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 things are going wrong. And Pablo is, is in trouble, too, because the demon chick is trying to get him. Get him to smoke out of this shotgun bong. And she's going to put a bullet in that shotgun bong. And so when he puts his face up to it, she's going to kill him. And, uh, oh man. So finally, Ash gets free of the gag. And he's like, that's because, you know, he's like, none of this is working on you. He's, he's like, because it's not me. Kelly's possessed, and she's alone with Pablo right now. And so they hear the shotgun go off, and, and you know, uh, she reveals herself to be fully possessed. And now she's the one going through the exorcism, and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but the exorcism, obviously, this is Evil Dead doesn't go well yeah like she spits out a few teeth at them and you know she pees herself all sorts of things go wrong they they're having trouble uh removing the the demon from her and it's not until pablo demands him to come out that he'll be possessed that the the thing kind of it pushes him away but then, then finally makes his way out. So I'm wondering if this is Pablo's la latent spiritual powers coming into effect, seeing as how he is, uh, uh, you know, was raised in, in, as a shaman's nephew, and his other uncle dabbled with demons too. It, you saw him as a head on the wall with his eyes so shut. So I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, the other thing is he says, he says, uh, you know, he's when they were talking aside. Uh, one important thing was mentioned. He goes, maybe you were supposed to leave because look, uh, you were able to spot Ash as a jefe, even though his inner light is buried way, way, way down there. Like I don't even, I, I barely see it right now. You know, that type of thing. And you were still able to find him. And you know, so there's, there's that whole like maybe Pablo's the next generation witch doctor in the family type deal going on throughout this episode that maybe it's his destiny to uh, work with Ash 
and it probably is. And I and I dig that. I dig that purpose for Pablo that that he's going to be a greater character. Um, and you know, so all right, so now the demon is out. They're fighting the demon, and uh, uh, the uncle, the uncle, uh, he get he knew the uncle was going to die, so he gets a backhand and lands in the spike. Uh, but not before, you know, but then Ash kind of figures out his power latent ability, the shoot first without thinking, and he's able to take out the demon and times it perfectly and blows up his head, you know, embracing the inner Hefe uh, with it. Uh, so they beat the demon, you know, uh, Kelly's freed. Uh, there is a small scene that, that, that Xena, I mean, uh, Lucy Lawless and, uh, the cop, uh, are, are still chasing him, and, uh, you know, that's going down. They burn the uncle's body, which is pretty cool, like, like, funeral pyre type deal, you know what I mean? Uh, warrior's death. And I dig that, because that means he's not going to get possessed or anything stupid like that. Uh, so that's cool. So then, he, he, you know, Pablo has his moment alone. And he's like, oh man, I feel horrible. You know, I wish you were somehow able to join us in this battle, uncle. And uh, right then and there, the uncle's medallion uh, shot out of the fire and landed. And the voice of his uncle told him that he'd always be with him. Take this medallion, it's yours. You know, embrace your destiny type gimmick. I almost felt like, I'm not even going to lie. I almost felt like we were going to see like a, like a, like a Star Wars, you know, scene where, now I am with you in the force, I will talk. I don't, I don't know, that was a horrible Yoda. I do a better Yoda, that was bad. But, uh, you know, that type of force ghost. But, uh, yeah, so now, so now it's cool, man. Pablo <coughs> will we'll start to develop in that manner, and I think that's cool. Uh, and then, you know, Ash apologizes to both of them. Uh, he says it's all his fault, and they agree. And he, he's so sorry that they've lost loved ones uh, because of this. Uh, but they both kind of forgive Ash, you know? Uh, they know uh, he's their boy, and he has their back, and, and, and that's enough. Uh, so they take off out of there. Now the cool thing, there was a cool scene with Pablo, is when he took the uh, 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 the medallion, I forgot to mention this, as he's walking by, all the totems catch fire as well. As if to say the place is, is going up. And that's probably the passing of how much power Pablo really has. So that, that type of stuff is cool. Uh, and again, we'll, we'll see where this pans out and where this goes. Well, I'm going to give this episode a, a 4 out of 5. I thought it was a great episode. I absolutely loved her being possessed. Uh, I love the the, the 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 transition of power. Um, and I dig the whole thing. So my only other uh, gimmick here is, would be the... Uh, little crazy fan prediction maybe I don't know if they're gonna go with this route maybe a prediction for for season two it'd be cool to see because this ep this season is headed towards he has to go back and they said it in this episode back to where it began they got to go back to the cabin and they have to bury the book in the cabin I guess that's the gimmick um so maybe when they do that they leave the book there and maybe that's when the event of the other motion picture, that remake, happens. Because remember, Ash did show up at the end of that. So it would be cool if season two had to do with the consequences of leaving the book there and and uh, tracking down this other chick. But I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong completely. And they could never go into that because I know for a lot of fans that other movie just didn't happen in their minds. But it all happened in the Ash universe. So who knows? All right, that's enough out of me. Talk too much. So click it up if you like it. Comment if you must. Subscribe if you can. And share. Please, please share the video with your buddies. Spread the love. All right, this is your buddy Alert Wolf signing out.